Welcome and thank you for attending our Security Health Plan Life Focus webinar. My name is Allison Mockton and I am a health educator with Security Health Plan's Life Focus program. The information provided during today's webinar is designed for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for informed medical advice or care. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problems or illnesses without consulting your provider. Please consult a doctor with any questions or concerns you might have regarding your personal health. Today's webinar is the facts about glucose. Our goal today is to help you understand what is glucose, why is this number important to your overall health, and what can you do to improve or manage your glucose level. Glucose, or blood sugar. What is it? Glucose is the amount of sugar in your blood. A fasting lab is performed to screen for prediabetes and diabetes. Blood tests are used to diagnose diabetes and prediabetes because early in the disease, type 2 diabetes may have no symptoms. A fasting glucose value is when your blood is tested after at least 9 hours after eating and can be affected by various things such as food, medications, illness, physical condition, stress, and strenuous exercise. What do glucose results mean? The desirable range is 70 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. The decreased risk range is 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter. You may hear the term prediabetes for lab values within this range. A level of 126 milligrams per deciliter means you are at risk for diabetes. Your provider will likely have your blood glucose level tested again on another day and then we'll discuss a treatment plan to help you manage your glucose level in a healthier range. Why is glucose important to you? High blood glucose levels can damage the vessels that supply blood to vital organs, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke, kidney disease, vision problems, and nerve problems in people with diabetes. High blood glucose levels can lead to insulin resistance and diabetes. About 17 million Americans, 6.2% of adults in North America, are believed to have diabetes. It has been estimated that about one-third of adults have diabetes. Early detection of high blood glucose levels allow for reduction of complications so you can feel well and enjoy life. Who is at risk for high glucose levels or diabetes? Risk factors include overweight or obese, sedentary lifestyle, or those who do not engage in regular exercise, high blood pressure, age, ethnic background, diabetes occurs more often in Hispanic, Latino Americans, African Americans, Native Americans, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, and Alaska Natives, family history of diabetes, and history of gestational diabetes or diabetes during pregnancy. Talk to your doctor to determine when you should be tested. Glucose, what can you do about it? Eat a consistent, well-balanced diet that is high in fiber, low in saturated fat and trans fat, and low in sweets. Eat meals regularly throughout the day. Don't skip meals. For example, eat three meals or three meals and one to three snacks, all fairly evenly spaced throughout the day. Exercise at least 30 minutes daily. If you are not very active, start off slowly with an activity that gets you moving for 10 minutes, five days a week, and build up to the recommended 30 minutes per day. Don't use tobacco and achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Every pound you lose can improve your health. Key points to remember. Glucose is the amount of sugar in your blood. The level of glucose in your blood is tested to screen for prediabetes and diabetes. To manage a healthy glucose level, eat a consistent, well-balanced diet that is high in fiber, low in saturated fat and trans fat, and low in sweets. 
be active daily, avoid tobacco, and achieve a healthy weight. As you can see listed, we have a variety of resources. Please visit our website, www.securityhealth.org, to learn more. Thank you for listening to today's Security Health Plan Life Focus webinar.